Who was Ryan White? If you're old enough, like I am, to remember the beginning of the AIDS epidemic back in the 80s, you may remember Ryan White. He was a 13-year-old teenager when he was diagnosed with AIDS after a blood transfusion in December 1984. Doctors gave him six months to live. But as his health began to improve, Ryan wanted to return to school, but he faced AIDS-related discrimination in his Indiana community. Along with his mother, he rallied for his right to attend school. He gained national attention and became the face of public education about HIV. Surprising his doctors, Ryan lived five years longer than expected. He died in April 1990, one month before his high school graduation. Congress passed the Ryan White Comprehensive AIDS Resource Emergency Care Act in August 1990. He was one of the first children, one of the first hemophiliacs to come down with AIDS at a time when there was no education and hardly any information on the disease itself. At the time Ryan was infected, there were no precautions or anything at hospitals. Then all of a sudden, the CDC shows up and started putting in all kinds of precautions, gowns, gloves, masks, you know the drill. And they started talking to the nurses and doctors about HIV. It became apparent that almost overnight, things were different. People were really cruel to Ryan, saying that he had to be gay, that he had to have done something bad or wrong, or he wouldn't have had it. It was God's punishment. That somehow, some way, he had done something he shouldn't have done or he wouldn't have gotten AIDS. It is believed that Ryan's legacy is that patients are now getting their drugs and treatment and that people are living and surviving with AIDS. What does this look like today for those of us suffering with HIV and AIDS? The Ryan White program helps lower income people with HIV obtain medical care, medications, and essential support services to help them stay in care and stay undetectable. More than 50% of people diagnosed with HIV, about half a million people, receive services through the Ryan White program. The program provides grants to cities, states, counties, and community-based groups. Their mission is to help provide care, medication, and essential support services to help with HIV-related outcomes and to reduce HIV transmission. All of this is available to patients like me because a young man was courageous enough to go public and fight the disease and the stigma. What a symbol of hope for many who still want to make a difference. As always, I'm sending hope and much love to each of you.